Welcome, this is Chaos 2016.9 version. So it's the latest. And I've been using Chaos for a while on a Surface Pro 2, running from a full installation on a 32 gigabyte uh, USB drive. And I've enjoyed the system so much that I've uh, decided to install it on a desktop I use and uh, make better use of it. Now Chaos, if you don't know, is a KDE focused independent operating system. It's built from the ground up. And it's focused on KDE, like a laser beam, no other desktops, and it's 64-bit only, so no steam, no wine, but, uh, and it does have a very limited repository, so it's not got a hundred different music players, for example, but it does have a good enough selection I think to meet most people's needs. And if you're not into Steam and wine and playing games, I think it works as a really wonderful, quick operating system. The KDE often has a uh, common complaint against it that it's heavy and slow. But when I have this stripped down, I'm right now I'm recording, I've got several open windows, and I'm at 1.2 gigabytes of memory. So that's not bad at all. Uh, my Processors are running pretty strong now. I think I'm actually even previewing the uh, video. But, uh, and you can see my machine is nothing too spectacular. It's a old AMD Phenom, not even a Phenom 2, but just the, the first version. Quad-core processor. I've got 8 gigs of RAM. That 8 gigs of RAM is unique RAM built only for AMD machines. And I think I paid a dollar a gigabyte for it. It was mailed to me from China, but it's worked flawlessly. So that's my operating system chaos. You can see I'm using KDE Plasma version 5.79 and QT version 5.7. And of course, everything is 64-bit again. Can't stress that enough. Let's get out of that. One of the neat new features that they've added in programs is this ISO writer. It looks pretty similar to uh, Peppermint's ISO writer, which I like. Uh, very simple, straightforward. OpenSUSE has another image writer I like a lot. But this one has the added feature of the clear button. And I like that a lot because sometimes it's painful to reformat a USB drive that you've used to uh, install a system from. And, and that there, it's one button. So I can click and write. I can choose my operating system. So hats off to a wonderful design for an ISO writer. So let's get out of that. And uh, let's get out of this. So this is my standard desktop. It's just a wallpaper I pulled from the uh, installation. So it's nothing special there. And I've put the panel from the bottom to the top and I've moved the default down to the bottom. I like a panel across the top and it looks a lot like all of a sudden my XFCE desktop. I have access to my launcher over here in the left-hand corner, and it looks a lot like an XFCE launcher. Now, it is KDE, so I have a choice of three different launchers that I could put in. One that looks like a GNOME, and uh, the other that is uh, more menu-intensive. I don't like it all. Anyhow, uh, after my launcher, oh, and I can uh, type my program that I want to start, like Chrome, hit Return, and I'm launching into it automatically. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. Get out of the wallet system. So I like the launcher. It's very friendly to me being an old XFCE fan. I have my desktops and I use two, but it's very easy to add more. I have a calculator. I haven't bothered taking that off yet. I don't really use it. All right, I can lock and log in, log out, and leave, shut the system down. My Octopi notifier for updates. And the neat thing about Chaos is they release ISOs very frequently so that when you do a fresh installation, you're not downloading 600 updates and upgrades. So I like that a lot. Okay, and I have access to my networks, an instant messenger, clipboard, speakers, volume, my system tray that is hiding things. And here I have the wonderful KDE Connect to connect to my Android devices. Just love that program. And you can see simple screen recorders running. So pretty neat. Time and calendar, my weather, 
system load. It's an, just a, a basic widget here, but it's telling me what I'm uh, using. I like that a lot. I like to know what my computer hardware is doing. The only widget I haven't found yet is a CPU temperature sensor. So I think I'm going to have to install a Conky. And Conkeys are installable in Chaos right out of the repository. And this is Caligra, right? And I like, you can see here I'm using a unreleased Frameworks 5 based version of Caligra. So we'll click OK. And normally I'm a LibreOffice guy, but I'm starting to really like Caligra. I've been using it for a little bit. And uh, it's just very simple and easy. And if I don't really need to do anything super sophisticated, just want to sit and type and compose, it's a, it's a very nice program for me to use. So I like it a lot. So let's get out of that. OK, and you can see I still have lots of space to customize my panel further. I have access to my Dolphin file manager. Now, the one thing this program, this computer does have, it has a very poor hard drive. It's got only a 200 gig hard drive. It's not SSD. So accessing it is a little slower. I may swap that out and, and put a, I've got a 350 uh, SSHD hard drive that I could put on. I might do that in the near future. So anyhow, and I am dual booting. I have access to the wonderful Dolphin file manager. And if you haven't seen it before, the split command to open up a fresh window is very nice. OK, but it's easily duplicated by opening up another instance of file manager if you don't have Dolphin. So that's Dolphin file manager, simple screen recorder. I go across, and here I can adjust my, my panel. I can change from the screen edge. I can change the height. I can add widgets, add spacers, and I have more settings to close out. So that's a pretty nice panel, very easy to customize. like it a lot. Now, what else is there to see in Chaos? It has a very tight and focused list of programs that it's using. You can see some of the recent programs I've used is Google Chrome, ISO Writer, show the, infrastructure, the NVIDIA. X server graphic front end. Now, when I installed it, it uses the Calamari's installer, and it it's, has a few nice uh, updates to that. It automatically picks your geographic location, for example. I don't have to enter it. But uh, it inst I chose a non-free installation, which installed an in NVIDIA drivers, but it didn't install the graphical front end. So I had to go in and install that myself, because I do like the front end. And if we look down to some of the, you know, got games, it's weak on games. It's not going to play Steam. So uh, you're out of luck there. But it will play 64-bit Linux games quite well. Uh, graphics, it comes with the KDE programs. I can use uh, Color Paint, which is my preferred basic, really easy to use paint program. Okay, Internet and Downloader. It doesn't come with Google Chrome installed, but it is in the repository, so it's very easy to install through the package manager, which is Octopi. And it uses Cupzilla as the standard default browser. I much rather prefer Chrome, mainly because I have an Amazon Prime account, and I'll watch Amazon Prime movies occasionally. And also Google Chrome work, makes working with YouTube uh, pretty simple and easy. And it does have access to Skype. Multimedia has got some players, and, and you can download VLC. There's not a huge selection in the Chaos repositories, but it's more than enough, I think, for most users. OK, I have installed Kodi. Office, it's got wonderful brain dump, and it uses Caligra. And I'm usually a Libre Office guy, but uh, I'm going to play with Caligra more and more and see how I like it. Settings are very easy to set up and customize from this screen. I can change my workplace themes very easily. So breeze dark, breeze dark. So what am I in? And Dina. And when you initially start Chaos, you go through a setup wizard. And it really walks you through changing your, your themes. 
and adjusting how you want to use your mouse, for example. And I'll have a video up on that in a little while. So really, what is there not to like about Chaos? It installs very easily using the Calamaris installer, and it runs, so far, like a dream. Two thumbs up for, Calamar for Chaos and Calamaris.